What is going on guys? Welcome. Man, this chair is too small. iOS 14. iOS 14 finally introduces widgets, something that Android has had since uh, dinosaurs were roaming the earth. And for some reason, everyone loves widgets now. So I guess in today's video, I'm going to show you guys how to add your own custom widgets because the one that comes or the widgets that come directly from Apple, they're very basic. There's nothing really going on, it's nothing really interesting. In fact, I've been using iOS 14 since the beta, uh, the developer beta like months ago, and I didn't really care for them. But now that we have custom widgets and you can add your own little spice to it, I like them much better. This is completely free, you don't have to pay anything. They do have a paid version, but to be honest, the free version is good enough and I will show you guys how to download it right now. So if you guys want your home screen to look like this, or like this, yes, I have a picture of my own car, yes, I am a tool, or like this, uh, honestly, I don't know what that is, but we'll get into it, we'll figure this thing out together. What you want to do is go into your app store, and then you want to look up something called Widget Smith. Once you download Widget Smith, all you want to do is just open it up. Once you have it open, it'll look a little bit like this. So you will have different sections, you will have small widgets, medium widgets and then you will have large widgets so for this example let's go ahead and add a small widget as you can tell i already have the pedometer and the movement bars which i put on right here but we can go ahead and add a third one here you can add the time widgets the date widgets or you can add a custom one which as you saw with my tesla you could add a custom photo or multiple photos inside of an album your own custom text or you can just leave a blank you could add calendar, reminders, your weather, health and activity, the tides, and astronomy. So for this example, let's go ahead and add fuzzy time. Once you add the widgets that you want, you can pick your location. Now this doesn't have to be your precise location, this just has to be the location in which your time zone is located at. Once you add that, you go ahead and click on font, and then you can pick which font you want to show. So let's go ahead and pick the New York font. You scroll down a bit, Thank you, thank you for the comment. I love you long time. Now you just click on tint color and you can change the color of which the text will appear. Let's go ahead and click on uh, lime. Then you can pick the background color. So for this, let's go ahead and do, uh, what does lime look good with? Um, let's go ahead and do hot pink, that looks pretty dope. Then you scroll down a bit and you can pick the border color. So let's let's go ahead and pink, uh, pink. Let's go ahead and pick hot pink with, uh, I don't know. Let's do lime, I guess. Well, then all you gotta do is just, is just click back, click on save. Now you just go home, click and hold, go to add, scroll all the way down, and then you'll get to Widget Smith. Go ahead and click on it. Now remember, we made a small widget, so that's what that's the one that you wanna add, but it's, that's obviously not gonna be the one you picked. Uh-oh, what do you do? Well, there's only one thing to do, throw away your iPhone. Or you can just click and hold on it, go to edit widget, and then pick the newest one you made, which is usually the last one. In this case, it is number three. And guess what? Boom, it is 10 past one. That actually looks pretty dope. I think I'm gonna keep it. Now to delete a widget, you know, it's pretty much common sense. Click and hold, remove widget, remove. Now, since I showed you guys how to remove widgets, I really recommend you subscribing to me because without me, you probably would have never figured that out. Let's go ahead and go back to Widget Smith. And let's go ahead and add a medium widget because different sizes widgets contain different things. So to add a medium widget, you just actually this one looks like crap. Let me delete that. Uh, let's go to hit. Uh, let's go to this one. Default widget. So here you can pick the time, which will look like this. Actually, this looks pretty cool. Again, pick your location. Now you can pick a different clock style. So if you want it like this, like that, like that. Let's go ahead and do this. Let's go to font color. Um, oops. Did I click on that right? Yeah, no, tint color, there we go. Let's go again, lime. Background color. Where's that pink? Pink, 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 pink. There we go, hot pink. Border color, lime. And then you click off, click save, go home. Click and hold, click the add button. Scroll all the way down, Widget Smith. Now you wanna to go to Medium, and you click on Add Widget. Again, uh-oh, that's not the correct widget. What do you gotta do? Obviously throw your iPhone away.
Come on, load. Don't embarrass me. Don't embarrass me. Okay, well, it's not working at the moment, but as you guys can tell, it is right there. This is the first time I'm running into this issue, so that's kind of weird. So I guess my only chance really is to remove or uh, remove it or throw away my iPhone. But as you guys can tell, most of the widgets do work perfectly, as you guys can see. So this is a neat little thing. You know, again, it's called Widget Smith. Very easy. There's tons and tons of customizations you can do, especially with the large widgets that look like this right here. Again, most are paid for, but uh, they're not that... Actually, yeah, that is pretty expensive. Definitely do not pay for that. I don't think that's worth it that much. But yeah, tons of customizations, guys. Um, it works flawlessly, except that one instance where it embarrassed me in camera. It's just, you know, it, my, my iPhone has performance anxiety. I apologize for that. So guys, that is pretty much it. If this video helped you out, uh, definitely click that like button. And if you are new here, consider subscribing because um, I need more money. This was Mark from Mark's Tech. Adios.